Recording. Okay. This is a quick demonstration on how to do some basic PID tuning uh, for the quadcopter. So I have it connected to my computer with the AeroQuad configurator running. And now I'm just going to uh, connect the battery power with our switch. And that will arm the motors. Or turn them on anyway. So now I'm going to arm the motors on the controller here and increase the throttle to about 40% or so. Just so I can feel that it's trying to adjust. You can see that it already is trying to compensate if I yaw it to the right. It tries to spin back. Those motors turn off. So I'm just going to get it to where it feels fairly loose in my hand like when I'm trying to be stable. So now, if I want to do the roll, which is this way, this is the front of our copter, I'm just going to hit it a little bit and feel how easily, how much it adjusts back. And right now it feels pretty solid. And I can do the same thing for the pitch as well, too. That actually feels a lot more solid than the roll. Okay. So I don't know how well you could see that. But when I was hitting it on the roll here, it was a lot easier to roll than it was with the pitch. It should feel pretty solid, like it should adjust back pretty quickly. So since it's not adjusting quite enough, what I'm going to do is here on the software, um, under rate mode, I'm going to increase the roll PID value here. And I think I'm going to increase it to about 80. AeroQuad recommends that you increase it in increments of 50, but we've been fine-tuning it a little bit already, so I know it's going to be in that area. So then I click, once I've set the values, I'm going to upload it to the AeroQuad. How this works is if you increase the p-value um, for roll or pitch, whatever you're testing, is they will increase the amount that it compensates. So if I hit it, it'll, if I have a really high p-value, it'll probably actually compensate too much and start oscillating. If it's low, then it won't really compensate enough. So we want to get it into the right medium where it, it compensates, but not too much. So let's try that again and see how the roll feels. So I increased it by about 20. We found that with our copter, we actually had to decrease the p-values from the default values just because ours is a bit smaller than average. So arm the motors again, increase the throttle. It definitely feels a lot more solid. In fact, almost too much. I might decrease it just a little bit. It feels like it's actually trying to overcompensate. Okay. But that's essentially how you do it. It's that simple. You just hold on to it. Um, once you get it in a, in a point where the roll and the pitch, or the, the, the yaw, the roll, and the pitch feels pretty solid, like it's trying to move, always move back, uh, then it's probably ready to just go for a test flight, uh, at which point we just bring it to about, uh, I don't know, waist level or so, and try and fly it around a little bit with the controller, and that's when you start adjusting the D value. Um, the D essentially tries to uh, compensate the copter back to level after you've um, pitched it forward or something. So if I'm controlling the copter and I, and I pitch it forward, it'll, it'll move forward, and then it'll try and level off. If it, if it levels off too much and actually starts uh, vibrating back or oscillating back and forth, then your D is probably um, a little bit too low or too high. Um, no, it's too low. So uh, in that case, you want to decrease it. And we found that as well, too. But that's uh, something that you just kind of have to play with. For full details on actually how to calibrate or to tune the PID software, you can visit Aeroquad's website. We put a link. Uh, around this video. Thanks. Mm, yep. Good video.